As you can tell by the title of today's video, I am going to be unboxing the Speedy Bandolier 25 from Louis Vuitton's newest collection, their very first collection of the year, their collaboration with the artist Yohoi Kasuma. I'm super excited about today's video, so let's get right into it. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber Marion. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back as always. Before we get into today's unboxing, which I'm super excited about, it's my first unboxing of the new year here on my channel. I need you guys to make sure you're hitting that little red subscribe button down below, as well as turning your post notifications on because you don't want to miss an upload this year. Addy, you might as well go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well. Lately, I've been doing a lot of Instagram real unboxing, so sometimes you'll be able to see what I'm going to unbox on my channel a little bit early on my Instagram so make sure you're following me there as well I'm just super excited about today's video everything about it excites me it's a piece from Louis Vuitton's first collection of the new year it's my first unboxing of the new year and to be quite honest this collaboration is probably one of the most beautiful it is the most beautiful collaboration I've ever seen Louis Vuitton do. The artwork, the craftsmanship is just absolutely amazing. I could go on and on and on and on, but I think we should get right into the unboxing. I'm going to insert a couple of close-up clips and mod shots right here of the actual unboxing, and then we're going to come back and chit-chat about the bag. mentioned the details are everywhere in this collection so as you can see on the ribbon they've gone with the polka dots put some LV in there so you have the collection dust bag with Kasuma Signature Pumpkin, The Year. You can see up close that the paint dots, none are alike. And they all have like a different texture. This is pulling up a greenish, but it's actually yellow. Very beautiful. So you do get the adjustable strap. as well as your little keys for your lock. And then inside the bag is the red Kasuma print. You do have a zippered inside pocket. And then inside is the Kasuma tag as well. The Speedy 25 is really a great everyday size. I do love that they've continued the pattern throughout the bottom of the bags. I really like that. That's a detail that I really do love. Then you have the detail right there telling you what size Speedy it is. I mean, look at, just look at how beautiful. None are alike. So this is a little bit hard to show, but you can see the inside. You have that logo as well, a zippered pocket. And then, as I said, the print inside the bags is replicating Kasuma's 2012 
Louis Vuitton print. So I love that. So now that you've seen the bag up close, I have to be honest, when I first got the email from Louis Vuitton about the new collection dropping with the polka dots, it just didn't, it wasn't giving. I was like, mm, I don't know, it's polka dots, they're weird colors. I was like, they're the primary colors. I don't know, it just wasn't, I just didn't, it wasn't anything special to me. Then I happened to be in Riverside Square Mall um, eating dinner this past weekend and I just passed by Louis Vuitton. And as soon as I saw it in the window, I was like, whoa, the print is breathtaking, the breathtaking. So I knew I absolutely had to get a piece from the collection. I ended up getting a few pieces from the collection and I was going to do a collective haul of everything I got, but honestly, these pieces are so pretty. I feel like they each deserve an individual video. So you definitely wanna make sure your post notifications are on so that you do not miss anything that I picked up from this collaboration. Since finding out about the collaboration and knowing that they have kind of an art pop-up shop in New York City and just finding out more and more about the artist I think she's absolutely amazing and interesting she's 93 years old this is her second time working with Louis Vuitton and this is actually the biggest collaboration financially just all across the board Louis Vuitton has ever done this is the first time they've worked with someone and have done everything menswear handbags accessories home goods everything candles perfumes everything so that says a lot about the artist that she is and like i said i've been super interested in her since the collection dropped and i've actually become low-key obsessed with miss kasuma so i actually think i want to do a deep dive video um into her and her artwork so be on the lookout for that the most interesting thing to me about her is that she actually lives in a mental institution and walks to her art studio every day and the polka dots that are um now she's she's now renowned for her polka dot art i guess you would say i don't know if i'm saying that right but the polka dots she actually they come from when she was five years old she started having hallucinations and she would see polka dots so that's what has inspired her career of polka dots which like i said she's super interesting let me know in the comments if you guys want like a deep dive video about her i, I don't know i never really find artists that interesting and she just seems super interesting and i definitely want to make it to the art exhibit and the pop-up shop in new york i believe it is running through march 31st very similar to the louis 200 trunks 200 visionaries exhibit it's kind of like that you can sign up and get your tickets online to go i do believe it's sold out i have to speak to my essay about getting some fast passes i don't know but if i do get to go to the exhibit i will bring you guys along with me one thing i will say is they literally paid attention to detail as always i wasn't expecting them to not but everything revolving this collection is just so special from the polka dot bags to the polka dot tissue paper to the polka dot ribbon to the dust bags you guys probably were able to see in the close-ups but the dust bag actually has um kasuma's infamous pumpkin so every little polka dot is different and it is of like a vinyl material it's mimicking her actual hand painted polka dots I do believe she painted, I guess, one big motif of polka dots. And then Louis then put it onto the monogram. So there is a few different pieces in the collection. There is a few different looks in the collection as well. I like the monogram with the polka dots. They do have a black and white polka dot. Um, they do have black and white polka dots black and yellow polka dots red and white polka dots and then the multicolored polka dot with the monogram the other ones don't have a monogram they're just polka dots with a solid color leather bag as i mentioned before i wasn't really i didn't really think anything of the bags right when i got the email nothing i was like eh. 
when i walked into the store the very first bag i saw on display was this speedy bandolier 25 and i was like you know what i love it the main reasons why i really love this collaboration i think is because it gives the kind of basic and classic louis bags a whole new spin so i have probably three or four speedies i have a monogram a damier azor but how, how could you not it doesn't matter how many speedies you have how could you not get this speedy the speedy only comes in two sizes as a part of this collection and that is the 25 and the nano so it doesn't come in every size but I absolutely love the 25 for just kind of an everyday bag. It's smaller. I absolutely love that the bandolier gives you the option to wear it as a crossbody or even a shoulder bag. You guys know I always say I love a bag that you can wear more than one way. Even the little key for the speedy lock has that logo of the collab on there. I mean everything was well thought out you guys saw in the close-ups that inside the actual bag the leather tag is also that pumpkin which I love the Kasuma Speedy 25 does retail for $27.60 in my opinion I do feel like for a collaboration this big this beautiful this this details I do feel like it is a good price as I mentioned earlier, this is the second collaboration that Kasuma has done with Louis Vuitton. Ten years ago, she had done these bags. I will throw up some images. I was never really a big fan, but that print is actually the print you guys saw in the close-ups. That is actually the print inside of the bag. So I thought that was really cool because it's paying homage to her last collection in her new collection. And I definitely think given her age, like I said, she's 93. I think it's amazing. She's been so hands-on with this collection. And I'd hate to say it, but it may be her possible last collection or collaboration with them. But I mean, it's stunning. It, it really is stunning. And I hope the camera is picking it up because it's really something you have to see in person. Like if you have a Louis near you, just walk by, just see it in the window. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I did pick up more than one piece from the collection. And I just feel like each piece deserves a video all of its own because to just have put them in a collective haul would have done no justice to these bags so i'm super excited for you guys to see what else i picked up but this was the very first bag from the collection that attracted my eye it was between this and the alma bb in this print which is super hard it's, it's already like sold out everywhere so this collection is moving fast if you are a collector or if you think you like <laughs> if you think you like the collection i suggest you run and try to get your hands on it some items are out of stock online already i did mention there is a pop-up shop going on right now in new york at the art exhibit and, and i heard that they do have pieces there as well so they have inventory there as well but it is definitely moving fast and it is selling fast and i can see why i mean the sunglasses the perfume cases everything is gorgeous so if you're thinking about it go get it before it's gone take it from me if take it from me if you if you're thinking about a bag that could possibly be gone get it before it's gone you don't want those type of you don't want those type of regrets you just don't you just don't the girls that get it get it i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please make sure you're hitting that little thumbs up button down below as well as making sure you're subscribed to my channel with those post notifications turned on because i am going to be unboxing the other pieces i picked up from the same collection so if you enjoyed today's video you're definitely going to enjoy those uploads as well as always i will see you guys in the next video